So next I'm going to measure your diaphragm like excursion. So I am just going to warn you, do you give me permission to write on your skin with the pen yeah. just to mark it? Okay. So what you're going to do for me is take a deep breath in and out, exhale everything out and hold it. Okay. Okay, good. Go ahead and breathe normally for a little bit. <laughs> now I'll take a deep breath in and I want you to hold it. Good. Now I'm just going to measure the distance between the two and it is about four centimeters, which is with the normal limits. We want it three to five centimeters. So that is excellent. Um, now I'm just going to auscultate. So when you feel um, that stethoscope touch either your chest or your back, take a deep breath in and out. If you feel dizzy, go ahead and take a break and breathe normally. Good. Um, no adventitious breath sounds were heard, uh, just your normal breath sounds. So I heard vesicular sounds over your lobes, bronchial over the trachea, and bronchovesicular over the main bronchi, which is wonderful. Um, and then measuring your AP diameter, it was a 1-2 ratio, which is expected, no barrel chest or anything like that. Um, so next I'm just going to inspect, um, your precordium, so your chest and your heart and that area. So here would be the apex of your heart, um, sternal borders, angle of breathe, <laughs> um, just identifying those little marks. Now... I'm going to have you lay back, attempt to use some tangen tangential lighting, um, just identifying any cubes or lips, which I don't see. Go ahead and sit up for me. Um, now just to prop you up, to have you slightly reclined at like a 45 degree angle, but not fully back. Go ahead and lean back for me. Okay. Oh, Good. So still no cubes or lips. Excellent. Sit up for me. Thank you. Um, no pulsations either. And now I'm just going to palpate um, the apical impulse. So it is at the fifth intercostal space midclavicular line. So that would be fifth clavicular line about here. Here at the apex. Good. And then I'm also going to have you lay supine again. So go ahead and lean back for me and roll over on your left side. You're okay. Yep. <laughs> Perfect. And I'm going to feel for an apical <laughs> impulse this way as well. Again, fifth intercostal space midclavicular line which I do feel um, the apical impulse, but it's not overly positive. Good. Okay, go ahead and roll back and sit up for me. Um, now I'm just going to palpate all five of the areas. So palpating for any thrills, cubes or lips. I don't feel any. 
So yeah, that would be the aortic pulmonic or pulmonary tricuspid and mitral valve areas. Mm. Good. Okay. So next, I'm just going to listen to your heart. Then I'm going to listen again with the bell of my stethoscope. Just your inquiries. Good. I didn't hear any breweries. Um, S1 and S2 were able to be heard. S1 was over the apex and S2 was over the aortic and pulmonic areas. Um, I did not hear any murmurs, so there's nothing um, to measure grade or locate or anything like that. <sighs> Moving along, I am going to inspect your abdomen. So looking at it now, <laughs> sitting upright, looks metrical. Um, skin is equal in color. Um, temperature is equal as well. So that is good. Um, so go ahead and lay Actually, if you could swing your legs this way for me to lay supine, that would be perfect. Uh, thank you. Um, good. I'm just inspecting your abdomen again. Just slightly feeling for equal temperature. Good. Um, so the venous return as noted, is moving in the direction of the head above the belly button and then in the direction of the feet below the belly button, which is expected. I don't see any hernia masses or separation of muscles. So next, I'm just going to listen to all four quadrants of your abdomen, starting the right lower. Um, bowel sounds were audible and active in all four quadrants. They weren't hyperactive or hypoactive, which is within normal limits. Um, now using the bell of the stethoscope, I'm just going to listen to the arteries in the abdomen, um, beginning with the aortic, then renal, iliac, and femoral. Okay, so for auscultating those arteries, here we go, using the bell of the stethoscope. So first your aortic, then the renal, iliac, femoral, good. No breweries were heard, which is what we want. Um, now I'm just going to percuss all four quadrants of your abdomen. <laughs> Any tenderness? <laughs> Good. Um, so now just some light palpation. <laughs> um, this is just identifying any muscular resistance, um, tenderness, anything like that. Do you feel any tenderness? No. Good. Um, your muscle tone is... <laughs> well developed um so now i will be estimating your liver border and your liver span so i'm just going to start like the particular line here on your right side and percuss down into like your tongues Oops, sorry. 
it's up there. If I were to use my thumb to make it. <laughs> <laughs> And then starting down below, I'm going to do the same thing. Like so. We're going to measure it. And it is about 7 centimeters, which is normal for it to be 6 to 12 centimeters. So that is good. Um, And then just further palpating your abdomen. Um, <laughs> just palpating a little bit deeper. You can't laugh or else I can't feel anything. Just put it a little closer. <laughs> I'm not able to palpate your spleen, which is good. It's not normally awesome. palpated. I can't palpate your gallbladder either. Any tenderness? No. Good. Um, so now I'm just going to hook my hand around here and then try and palpate your left kidney. I don't really feel anything. And then moving on the other side. I'm, oh. <laughs> I'm going to do the same. And I can't palpate your right kidney either. Which is okay. So next, I will palpate for any gastric air bubbles, or percuss for any gastric air bubbles. <laughs> Which are present and normal. Um, That is good. So now, if you want to go ahead and sit up again for me over here. Perfect. Lastly, I'm just going to palpate your cost over tegal angle. So down here. Let me know if you feel any pain. Any pain or tenderness? No. Good. That is what we want. Um, next, just comparing your distal pulses. So starting with your carotid, go ahead and turn your head to the left for me. Your carotid measure. Good, and then go ahead and turn to the right. Good, so now we'll Checking for your brachial pulse. And your radial. And your pump. And I'm going to feel for your popliteal. <laughs> You're okay like that. And your radial. Good. Now I'll dorsalis penis. And then posterior tibia. Good. Um, so all of your pulses were equal and symmetrical on both sides. Graded at about a 2 plus, which is normal. They weren't overly strong or weak. Um, the contour was pliable, smooth and rounded. Um, as I've already palpated your aortic, renal, iliac, and femoral, femoral arteries. They were all sculpted for breweries. Um, next, I'm just going to have you sit upright. I'm going to look for jugular venous distension, so turn your head. Good. Turn your head down. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Next, I will have you 